Cold email outreach is one of the best and cheapest ways to get new clients for your business. It worked 10 years ago and it still works today. The only difference is today we have the advantage of automating it and making more volume by using less of our time. I will show you exactly how to set up your account so you can send hundreds or even thousands of emails per day to your potential clients. As Alex Hormozzi always says, volume negates luck. So let's put in the work. At the end of the video, I will share with you my secret trick, which nobody is talking about, which will boost your delivery rates. So stay tuned. This might look frightening in the beginning, but remember, you only have to do this process once and it's well worth it. And don't worry, I will guide you throughout the whole process and show you everything step by step. So let's get going. Our first step is to make an instantly.ai account. Every link you need to do all of this is down in the description so you don't need to search for anything. There is 100 reasons why we are using Instantly AI and one of them is it's the most affordable solution. Usually these tools charge you per email inbox but Instantly charges you one subscription and allows for unlimited email accounts and sending 100,000 emails per month for just $97 per month and this is absolutely a steal. The next advantage of Instantly is they automate the warm up of your email account. They will send emails slowly from your account day by day to warm up the email account and get a much better reputation so your emails actually land in the inbox and not in the spam folder. We are going to use the hyper growth subscription which costs $97 per month but as said with the link in the description you will get a 14 day free trial. So go get your Instantly.ai account and get ready for the next step. In the next step, we're going to buy a domain. Why do we do that? We don't want our main domain reputation to get bad. That's why we use separate domains for cold email outreach, because then it doesn't matter if they get flagged as spam. You simply change the domain and buy a new one. To buy a domain, you can simply go to GoDaddy or Namecheap. We use Namecheap and I will show you how to choose a domain you want to send emails from. Let's say your company name is cutecats.ai. Then what you can simply do is you just remove the dot, you use cutecatsai.com because .com domains usually have a very good deliverability. What did he say? And there we go, it's $10 per year. We're going to buy this domain and using that to send emails from. After we bought this domain, we also need to set up an email account. For this purpose, we're going to Google Workspace and getting a new workspace account. In the next step, we want to get an email inbox. For this purpose, we are going to use Google Workspace. So simply go to workspace.google.com and create a new account. Now we have a domain and a Google Workspace account. Now we need to connect both of them. So you simply go to your admin console in your new Google Workspace account, which will look similar to what I have here. You go on the left side, you choose account, manage domains, and then you will find something like this. I already connected two domains here, but to connect your new domain, you simply go to add domain and follow the instructions. It's super simple and it just takes like one minute and it's done. After you have connected your domain, you simply need to activate Gmail in your workspace so you can actually send out emails. To do so, we go back to Google Workspace. You need to click here on activate Gmail. And again, this process is very straightforward. And here you will have an instruction which will take you another one minute to activate Gmail. And from that moment on, we are allowed to send emails from our new domain, which we just bought. After you activated Gmail, your Google Workspace account should look something like this. It should say verified and Gmail activated. In the next step, we are going to log in into that new email account and activating IMAP. And to show you that, I will create a new account just to show you exactly how it works. This is the exact process you also need to follow to add multiple email accounts per domain. The best approach is to have three email addresses per domain. So we can add up to three email addresses per one domain, which we have bought. You are simply going to your users directory on users, add a new user. You choose the correct domain you want to add the user to. In this case, you are adding your name and your primary email should be something like your name or your position like CEO or whatever. In this case, I will use hello. For you, you can use your name because that has a more personal approach and probably gets more people to open your email. We're simply clicking on add new user and that's basically it. Now we are going to log into Gmail to activate the settings which we just talked about. So you simply open a new tab, open gmail.com and log in into your new account. Hello at omnifusion.pro and we're going to copy paste the password we just received. We click on I understand if that's the first time we are logging in. Now we need to change our password if that's a new account. And after we have chosen a new password, you should be logged in into your new account. 
no new email. So the only thing we need to do here is we go to settings. Okay, this can happen in the beginning. So if you have a new account, Google sometimes needs some time to initialize your account so you can get access to your settings. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. So I'll be back as soon as that's possible. Google finally allowed me to change my settings in our new email account. So you simply go to forwarding and pop IMAP and then you enable IMAP, click on save changes and that's it. Sometimes when you create multiple accounts with Google Workspace, they ask you to verify that it's really you by using a mobile number. In the beginning, you can use your own mobile number, but after some time, and if you have more than one email account you want to set up, then your mobile number will not do it anymore. For this purpose, you can verify these accounts by using the service of Juicy SMS. Again, link is in the description. Juicy SMS is a very simple service where you can just pay 80 cents for a verification as you just need to do this once. You simply click on Google and they will give you a separate mobile phone number where you can verify your identity with Google. You just copy this number, paste it into Google. They send you an SMS. You will see that SMS code arriving here. You use that code, paste it there and then you are done. So you pay 80 cents and your verification is done. So in the next step, we are going back to our instantly dashboard. As you can see, I already have multiple email addresses connected here and already warming up on this account. But for our purpose, as we are just connecting a new account, we are going to click on add new. We're going to choose Google. As we just said, we enabled IMAP already. So yes, IMAP has been enabled. We are using option one. And now to connect instantly to Google Workspace, we need to do this once per workspace. So you don't need to do this for every email address and also not for every domain, as you can use multiple domains in one workspace, but you just have to do this once per workspace. You simply click on this link, which brings you to the admin panel in Google. Then you will not see this because you didn't set it up yet. You simply go to add app, zero authentication app or O authentication, I think it's called. And then you go back to instantly, you simply copy this one, paste it on Google site, click on save, and that's all you need to do. You just copy and paste this once and you are set up with your domain. This is how simple it is to connect your Google workspace with instantly. Next step on instantly site is to click on login, login with your new account, and then you will get your access request. You click on allow and that's it. You see, this is beautiful. It says connected and that's all you need to do. Sometimes instantly doesn't automatically send you back, but everything is set up. You simply go back here and then you should be able to see your new domain right here. Hello at Omnifusion.pro. So now we bought a new domain, registered to Google Workspace, adjusted the settings, connected the workspace with instantly. And now there's just a few more steps left until we are done. And if you find this video valuable so far, please feel free to leave a like because this actually helps the algorithm on YouTube to show this to more people. I appreciate it a lot. So currently we are at step nine. We need to go to Namecheap or GoDaddy or wherever you bought your domain and need to adjust some DNS settings to make sure that all the emails are sent properly. We are also going to create a custom tracking link and we are going to set up SPF records, DMARC records and DKIM records for our email address. The custom tracking link only needs to be created once. So you do this once and never again. And SPF, DMARC and DKIM records need to be added for every new domain you're adding to instantly. So for this step, we go back to Namecheap or wherever you have your domain to change some DNS settings. In total, it's a very straightforward process, but if you do a lot of email mailboxes, it can become really annoying. But always remember, you always have to do these things just once. If the setup is done, we can send emails every day and you don't need to do this anymore. So it's really worth to put in these hours. I think I needed like four to five hours to make this for 15 email mailboxes, but then you are done. So the custom tracking link is making sure that we are not using the tracking link of Instantly because Instantly's tracking link is used across all their users. And if some of their users gets flagged as spam or has a bad reputation, this will also affect you. That's why we create a custom tracking link and we only need to do this once and we can use it on all our email mailboxes. To create the custom tracking link, you simply create a new CNAME record. The host is called link. And in the value, you will add prox.itrackly.com. That's all you gotta do. Then this is going to be your new custom tracking link, which is called link omnifusion.pro or whatever your domain is. And if all of this sounds very complicated to you and you don't understand why you're doing this, trust me, just do what I say and it will work. You actually don't even need to know why you're doing it. 
Then we also need to add three more records as just said, it's the SPF record. This is this one, the DMARC record and the DKIM record. I already did this for this domain, but I'm just quickly going to show you on this page how it's done. So you simply go to your domain provider, you click on manage DNS settings, and then you have to add three different DNS records. I will also link this page down in the description where it gives you all the records which you just need to copy and paste. It's as simple as that. So it's three TXT records which you need to add in the DNS. One is for the SPF setup. So you simply copy this one and add it into your DNS settings. After that, we're going to add the DKIM setup, which lets you go into your Google workspace. Google then generates new records for you. You simply copy those records, paste them into your DNS records, and that's it. So again, it's a copy and paste. It's very straightforward. And the last one is the DMARC setting, which again, you need to copy and paste these records into your domain provider. But be aware in this case, you need to replace email at your domain with your email address. And this happens two times. So you have it again here, which you just replace with your email address. And now we are nearly done. So one of your email addresses is connected now, the domain is set up and everything else is already figured out. What you can do now is go to your Google Workspace account, add a new user, create a new email address and just connect this with instantly. You have the same approach. If you need to verify it, use Juicy SMS, then log into your account, give instantly access rights to this email address and that's basically all you need to do. Most of these settings are just done once per domain. So if you have a new domain, you need to go through this again. And our last step, which we're going to do right now is we're going to our instantly account and we are clicking this button for test domain setup. And it's going to test this if everything is correctly set up for your domain. If instantly shows that everything is fine, we are going to click on this fire symbol to enable the warm up. Then we're going to click on the account to check the settings. Just over here, you can choose your name. You don't need to change anything with the campaign settings. For the custom tracking domain, we're going to put our just created custom domain link right here. So link dot whatever your domain may be. You can also check the status to see if everything is fine. CNAME verified, SSL verified, everything is good. The warm up settings, you should keep that as default. So it's increased per day, it's one email per day. So today it will send one, tomorrow it will send two, after that it will send three and so on to slowly warm up your email reputation. It will max out at 20. You can leave these settings as they are. We want to enable the read emulation. If you have the higher subscription on instantly, you can do that. We also want to enable the warm up of the custom tracking domain. You don't need to do this for every single email address. What you can do is just set up all your accounts and then simply go here, bulk settings. You can tag all of them, go to bulk settings and set the settings as I just showed you. Click on save and it will adjust these settings for all of your accounts. Now let your emails warm up for about three weeks and then shoot those cold emails right in the face of your potential clients. And I promised you a secret trick when you made it to the end of the video and this is it. Don't use Google Workspace for all the email accounts. Use 50% of the accounts with Google Workspace and connect 50% of your email accounts with Microsoft Office. Why is that? Instantly has a very smart setting where it can match the domains. So that means if you have 50% Microsoft Office accounts and 50% Google Workspace accounts, Instantly is going to check which account your receiver is going to use and then it will match those two accounts to itself. So if you send from a Google Workspace account to a Google account, you have a much higher deliverability than if you send from Microsoft to Google and other way around. So don't go ahead and put all of these accounts into Google, but spread them across Microsoft and Google. This will improve the delivery of your emails, I promise. This is something not many people are talking about, but it's still very, very important to take care of. I didn't know it in the beginning, so I needed to delete some of my Google Workspace accounts and go to Microsoft to set them up there. I hope you don't need to do this because I told you that you can do it from the beginning. Congratulations, you made it this far in this video. Do me a favor and if you learned something new or if you got some value out of this video, Go down below, subscribe to this channel. We will do much more videos and content on outreach and I will take you with me step by step and show you exactly how to create your scripts, how to make follow-up emails, how to book in those calls and how to close those clients for whatever business you might have. And if you need more help and more specified support with anything we're doing on this channel, we just made it possible for you to book a one-on-one -on -one consulting call with anyone from our team. The link is down in the description as well as in the resource hub. 
We are very happy about all the positive feedback you have given us in the last few days and we try to give you as much value as possible on this channel. Creating this video was a huge mess for me and I hope it really helps a lot of people. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next one. Peace.